and various different organizations across the country, many of whom are out today in various demonstrations, al Quds Day demonstrations, in cities and towns across the country, to say that we stand once again in support of Palestinian self-determination, in support of the Palestinian people. I have to say, I've spoken at a number of Al-Quds rallies over the course of the last number of years, and I have to say this is the biggest and most vibrant one that I think I have ever seen. And it is true, as many of the speakers who have come up here and spoken before me have already said, it was in fact the Zionists and the right-wing media trying to whip up Islamophobia and trying to whip up hatred that ended up boosting the profile of this event. But I do hope that we can build on that, not relying on what they do, but building this based on the fact that we have massive networks of people across this city and across this country who support human rights, who support self-determination, and an end to occupation, whether that occupation be in Palestine, or Iraq or Afghanistan. Yeah. Yeah. It is, an, although today it has been wonderful that we've seen so many more people out because of this publicity that has come up, there is as well a grave danger that stands behind it. As Brother Ali just spoke about the situation, when it... The fact that the Zionists know full well that they are losing. They are losing the legitimacy of the State of Israel. And that's part of the reason why they are mobilizing in the quantities and the loudness that they are doing so right now. But they're getting help. And they're getting help from our government. They're getting help from the government of Stephen Harper, who would sit on national television and say that Islamicism is the greatest threat to peace in the world. Shame on Stephen Harper for spreading that kind of hatred. getting help, unfortunately, from the various different candidates that are running for the leadership of the United States right now, whether it be Barack Obama or Mitt Romney, all of them are doing their best to whip up hatred against Muslims, to whip up Islamophobia, because they need it. They need it to be able to justify the further imperial incursions that they want to make into the Muslim world. And we are seeing them attempt to develop these ideas now. We're talking about Syria, where the CIA is already operating to try to influence the situation in Syria right now and to be able to take it over for Western interests. We're talking about the whip up against the government of Iran to be able to justify a war that is based on, yet again, fictitious questions of weapons of mass destruction. If they want to talk about weapons of mass destruction, we need to talk about the thousands and thousands of nuclear warheads that exist in the United States right now and the hundreds of illegal nuclear weapons that the Israeli state currently has, the only nuclear weapons in the Middle East that are in the hands of the Zionist government right now and they are planning to use them, they want to use them and they need Islamophobia in the West to be able to justify the kinds of attacks that they want to be able to launch in various other parts of the world. Those absolute shame. And we're seeing the impacts. We're seeing the impacts in the United States where there have been a rash of racist attacks recently. We're seeing the same impacts here in Canada where we have also seen attacks. There was an attack on a mosque project in Nepean not more than a week ago that was actually whipped up again by the government of Canada by constantly, constantly using Islamophobia to be able to justify their foreign policy so that they can go to other countries, occupy and rape and pillage, which is exactly what the Western countries are doing throughout the region. We, however, have some precedents on our side. We have stood up against the bigots more than once in this country. When they tried to shut down the idea of building a mosque in Newmarket, we filled up the Newmarket Town Council with so many people, the bigots couldn't even get into the room to be able to make their deputations. Because even though that may represent the government of Canada and the government of the United States, it does not represent the ideas of the Canadian people or of the American people who stand overwhelmingly against racism, who stand overwhelmingly against hate. And we will be out here year after year at al Quds rallies and every single time that we need to stand up against Islamophobia to make sure that our governments do not use hate to divide us, that do not use hate to be able to gain their own access to different people's resources around the world. We can stop it. We've done it before. We kept Canada out of the war in Iraq and we shut down the bigots every time they've raised, raised their ugly heads here in this country. We can do it again. The people united will never
never be defeated. The people united. Thank you. We'll never be defeated. The people united. 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 The